Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Give God some praise because he alone is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. He is truly an awesome God. I'm excited about the God that I serve. Glory to God. He is so awesome in the name of Jesus. Come on, give him some praise. Lift up the holy name of Jesus. He alone is worthy to be praised. In the name of Jesus, Lord to God. Come on, let's make a joyful noise. Hallelujah unto the Lord. All you people, everyone that woke up this morning, we ought to make a joyful noise. Glory to God. We ought to serve the Lord with gladness in the name of Jesus. Come before his presence. Glory to God. Singing glory to God with a praise inside of you in the name of Jesus. I am so excited. Glory to God. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Facebook Live. Welcome, glory to God. Conference call live in the name of Jesus. Get excited about the God we serve. Because did you know that he is still awesome? Did you know that he's a terrible God? Did you know that he sits high and look low? Did you know that he look out for the best interests of his people? Glory to God. And I'm excited about the God that I serve. He's so awesome. Glory to God. He's so kind. He has tender mercy. He's so compassionate. He's gracious. Glory to God. And I love the Lord because he first loved me. Can I get a witness? Right where you are, right near, no matter where you're sitting, in the name of Jesus, you ought to give him some praise. You ought to tell him, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your uh, tender, loving care in the name of Jesus. I'm excited, glory to God. I'm in the sanctuary of God, right where I'm at. God's presence is here, and I'm coming into his presence with joy in my heart. I'm in his presence with thanksgiving in my heart. I'm in his presence with a new song in my heart. God is awesome in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Give him one more praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I thank God. I bless them. At this time, we're going to have over 50 books to take us to the throne room of grace. Glory to God. Uh, good morning, everyone on Facebook and everyone on the conference. Hallelujah. Glory. Let's pray. The eternal Father, once yes. again, Lord, we come to you once again just to give you thanks. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father, for allowing us to be amongst the land of the living one more time. Thank you for waking us up in our right state of mind and giving us use of activity. Mm, thank you, Jesus. For giving us of our sins. Yes, well, Lord God. We want to say good morning to your Holy Spirit as well, Heavenly Father. We thank, <clears throat> thank you for being with us on this day as yes. well. Yes, thank you, Jesus. We come lifting up the shepherd of the hour, Heavenly Father. Hallelujah. We know that you have instilled a word and thank prayer you, for Jesus. your people on today, Heavenly Father. And we pray someone will get to know you on today as well. As we give you all honor and praise on this day. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Come on, give God some praise. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I thank God. I bless him. But God is good. His mercy endures forever. Glory to God. His truth endures to all generations. And I, I love him. Glory to God. Because he's such an awesome God. My flesh is weak, but my spirit is so willing. My spirit is so strong in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. But grab your sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Hallelujah. Tell me to the Gospel of John, the Gospel of John, chapter 8. The Gospel of John, chapter 8. I thank God. I bless him. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I give him glory. I give him honor in the name of Jesus. Somebody ought to get excited with me. Glory to God. Don't just sit there and mope. Don't sit there being sad, being tired and depressed. Come on, shake it off for you. Glory to God. Know that you serve, still serve a God who's alive and who's active in the name of Jesus. The Gospel of John, chapter 8. And I will begin reading a familiar passage this morning, a familiar passage in the name of Jesus. And I'm going to start verse 31. Verse 31 in the Gospel of John, verse 31. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We celebrate this weekend. Glory to God. The 4th of July, Independence Day. Glory to God. But I thank God that we as Christians, glory to God, we have a greater Independence Day. And that Independence Day is every day when we rely on and depend on God. Glory to God. In the name of Jesus. But the Gospel of John, chapter 8, and I will begin reading in verse 31. And it reads, Then Jesus said to those Jews who believe him, If you abide in my word, you are my disciples indeed, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. They answered him, 
We are Abraham descendants and have never been in bondage to anyone. How can you say you will be made free? Jesus answered them, most assuredly, I say to you, whoever commits sin is a slave of sin. And a slave does not abide in the house forever, but a son abides forever. Therefore, if the son, glory to God, makes you free, you shall be free indeed. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Go with me to the throne of grace one more time. Thank you, Father God, for being such an awesome and mighty God. We thank you for our waking up this morning, Lord God. We thank you for our lying down last night, Lord God. We thank you that you watch over us you, because you are God and never sleep, no slumber. Glory to God. We thank you for our health and our strength, Lord God. We thank you for the soundness of our minds, Lord God. We thank you, glory to God, that you are with us. You will never leave us nor forsake us, Lord God. We thank you for your shield of protection, Lord God. We thank you for your grace that's so sufficient. We thank you for your mercy that endures forever. We thank you for your forgiveness of all of our sins, Lord God. And you gave us eternal life, Lord God. We thank you for the gift of repentance, Lord God. We thank you for the Holy Spirit that convicts us, Lord God and convinces us, glory, glory to God, and transform us to the likeness of your Son, Jesus Christ. Now, Father God, thank you for your word today. Your word going to strengthen us. Your word going to transform us. Your word going to take us a little bit deeper with you in the name of Jesus, and we give you the glory in advance, Lord God. Have your way, Lord God. Let the anointing glory to God Travel through the internet services, Lord God. Travel through the Wi-Fi systems, Lord God. Travel through Facebook. Glory to God. Call the call line. Go through the lines, Lord God. And encourage and pierce the souls and the hearts of your people, Lord God. Let your anointing flow, Lord God. I call on the winds. Glory, the full winds of the north, the south, the east, and the west, Lord God. Anoint your people. Glory to God. Blow, refresh them in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. And I'll be sure to give you the glory. We all glory to God. I'm going to praise you and honor you in this day. In Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen and thank God. Come on, give us some praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I would like to use a title for this passage, glory to God. The truth that makes you free. The truth that makes you free. And if I would ever add a subtitle to this, glory to God, I would say, I am free. At last, I'm free at last. And who the Son set free is free indeed. Glory to God. And I don't know about you, glory to God, but this is the month of July. And you heard me in Bible study. Glory to God. I always introduce you to the month. And we are in the seventh month. Glory to God. We are in the beginning of the second half of the year. Oh, yes, indeed, glory to God. And I'm so excited to see what God is about to do as we enter the beginning of the second half of this year, glory to God. The month July signifies summer, glory to God. It signifies the radiance of God's glory, hallelujah. And I tell you, do look out your windows right now. You can see the glory of God. You can see the radiant the radiance of his glory surrounding you in the name of Jesus. I look not in the natural, but I also look in the spiritual glory to God. And I see God surrounding the remnants. I see God surrounding us, my brothers and my sisters in Christ. Don't be afraid. Don't be dismayed. Glory to God. For God is with us during these times that we are living in. And in your personal uh, glory to God, situations that you are in, just look at your window, glory to God, and see the radiance of God's glory surrounding you in the name of Jesus. And the radiance of God's glory is God's favor, is God's presence, is God's strength, glory to God, is God's power, glory to God. I thank God, hallelujah, that he still shows up, glory to God, in the midst of chaos, in the name of Jesus. But this is a month, glory to God, a month that we're going to see God's glory, the radiant, the radiant of God's glory. And this is the seventh month, and the biblical number seven means completion. It means totality. It means perfection. 
It means that glory to God. God will finish what he started. Glory to God. And I truly believe in my heart that what he started in January 2020, before this coronavirus, three in the second, God going to finish it. Don't you wipe out, don't you dismiss, glory to God, the promise of God in your life. Don't you dismiss your visions and your dreams that God gave you for 2020. The year is not over with yet in the name of Jesus. Just still keep your faith to believe because this is the second half of miracles. We're in the middle and strange things happen when we are in the middle. You read the scriptures and you read Acts the disciples. What happened when they was in the middle of the storm? Jesus show up unexpectedly and unannounced, glory to God. And when he show up, glory to God, he show up with a miracle, glory to God. Peter began to walk on water. And this season, we're going to begin to do things that we never thought that we were able to do. If you believe in the name of Jesus, glory to God. But I just wanted you to know, glory to God, that God desires the best for each one of us children. But sometimes we become trapped in habits. Sometimes we become trapped, glory to God, in our thoughts. Sometimes we become trapped in negative emotions that interfere with the plans of God for our life. We are living in a time where we need to know how to get free from all the tricks, from all the traps of the enemy that he had laid at the feet of the people of God. So you got to know, glory to God, that Ever since, glory to God, Satan lied to himself about being, glory to God, like the most high God and becoming, and he became the father of liars. And he, the, his falsehood and deception, glory to God, had become so deeply ingrained in this human race that it ruined lies. It destroyed, glory to God, communities that destroyed churches and it destroyed marriages and relationships glory to god saints and lies glory to god destroyed glory to god businesses from cheating and with deception glory to god marriages have been destroyed and worn because of lies and deceit glory to god but you got to know satan and satan is his name the devil glory to god just only destroy describe glory to god his character his character, he's a liar, he's a deceiver, he's a thief, glory to God, he's a murderer, glory to God. And he does not waste his time on those who already belong to him. Well, who he comes after, he comes after those that have the righteousness of the, of the seed of God inside of them. He comes after those who profess and live out Christ in their life, glory to God. And I want to let you know, glory to God, that he's after us. He after the believers in Christ. He after those, glory to God, that have a heart to stand for, for Jesus Christ. Remember what he asked for Peter. Oh, yes, he did. He asked for Peter. Jesus said, Peter, Satan just asked for you. Hallelujah. And he want to sift you as sweet. And I want to let you know those that striving to do God's will, those that declare and decreeing and prophesying the word of God. Those who are striving to live off the word of God. You got to know Satan just asked for you. And he want to sift you as wheat. He want to grind you up. He want to break everything that's in you. He want to destroy your faith. And destroy your hope in Christ. Glory to God. But thank God that we got a prayer savior. A savior to intercede on our behalf. And Jesus told Peter. He said, Peter, don't you worry about it. Because I'm praying for you. And I'm not praying that he won't destroy your marriage. I'm not praying that he won't destroy your home. I'm not praying that he won't destroy your job. But I'm praying that he don't destroy your faith, glory to God. Because with faith, you will win at every time. Faith is always a winner. Faith will start you in your life all over again with Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So we get to know we have an enemy. And Satan, glory to God, he wants us. He want those that keep in the seed of righteousness with inside of them, glory to God. Hallelujah, glory to God. And he wants the seed of Abraham. That's who we are. We are the seed of Abraham, glory to God. And he wants to keep us slaves as slaves, slaves of sin in the name of Jesus, glory to God. Did you not know sin is sneaky? Oh, yes, it is. It's like a drug, glory to God. You first get a free sample of that drug from the drug dealer. 
Hallelujah. But you know it is not free because at the end you're going to pay a price for it and you're going to pay a high cost for it in the name of Jesus. And that's what Satan does. He gives us a taste. Glory to God. What feels good? What looks good? Hallelujah. What seems good to us? Glory to God. Hallelujah. But he don't tell us the price that we got to pay for it later in the name of Jesus. You better watch out to because he's a liar. He's a deceiver. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And he wants us to be a slave. And he wants us to be a slave to sin. So there's always deception of what the devil has to offer us. We must learn, glory to God, hallelujah, how to deal with our life from the power of truth and not from the power of lies in the name of Jesus. Truth makes us free from sin. Truth makes us free from destruction. Truth makes us free, glory to God, hallelujah, and from the power and the forces of darkness in the name of Jesus. I want to let you know truth is the quality or the state of being true, something being true. It's a fact or it's a belief that is accepted as true. Faith truth has been proven to be true. Faith is something that is provable, glory to God. Hallelujah. It's a fact and it's not false in the name of Jesus. Truth is reality. Hallelujah. And truth is proven, glory to God, over and over and over until it take it engraft in your spirit and engraft in your heart. And we got to learn how to live by the truth, glory to God, how to live by the word of God, how to live by God and God all by himself, glory to God, because God is truth in the name of Jesus. But the enemy wants us to live by a lie, because lies put us in bondage. And it makes us blind to the truth. Lie makes us walk as dead men and women of God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Satan, glory to God. Hallelujah. He's the source of all lies. He's the father of all lies. Glory to God. So here we are. Glory to God. We want to, God wants to, the truth has to make us free. We live in a time now that truth, this truth that we have going to make us us free, glory to God. And who the son set free is free indeed. What you mean by being free, Pastor Brooks? I'm glad you asked me. Because this free, glory, free means not restricted. Free means not being controlled. Free means that there's no limitation, glory to God. Free means enjoying your personal rights or your personal liberty. But that's not the freedom God talking about when it comes to glory to God, his children, glory to God. We are free, glory to God. As the believers of Christ, we are free to serve God. We are free, glory to God, to know how to live out our life for God without being ashamed. We are free, glory to God, to give them praise and give them glory in the midst of our trials and tribulation, glory to God. We are free to love God with all our heart, all our mind, all our soul, all our strength, glory to God. We are free to serve him in gladness in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. We are free to come boldly to the throne of God. Hallelujah. And glory to God to obtain his mercy. We are free to live out our lives. Being free doesn't mean that you can do whatever you want to do. That's the wrong perception when it comes to us as children of the, book, the living God. Being free to us as, as Christians, glory to God. We are free, glory to God, to allow God to come into our life and take control. We allow God to come into our life to go into God, to live out his life through us in the name of Jesus. I'm free to serve him. I'm free to praise him. No devil can stop my praise. I'm free, glory to God, to give him honor and give him glory in the midst of what I'm going through. I got the freedom because I got truth and the truth has been proven to me that God is awesome. God is real. God is the, the glory to God is the one that sits high and look low and it's a control over this whole universe. I'm free. And who the son set free is free indeed. I'm just not free over here. I'm free indeed. Indeed me, I'm absolute free. Indeed, indeed means glory to God. It makes a statement what had always been proven before the statement. I'm free and I'm free indeed. Hallelujah, glory to God. I want to let you know 
Nobody on this universe, hallelujah, is free to do whatever they want to do. Everybody is a slave. Everybody to live on this universe, every human being is a slave. But the question is, what are you a slave to? Either you're a slave to God or you're a slave to Satan. Either you're a slave to righteousness or you're a slave to unrighteousness. Either you're a slave to sin or you're a slave going to God, to the things of God. I'm a slave going to God, but I'm a slave to Christ in the name of Jesus. It's just like someone going to God that's in prison in the physical. Just because your outside world seems like a prison, doesn't mean you're a prison on the inside. Hallelujah. You still got the joy of the Lord as your strength. You still got the peace. Hallelujah. The shalom. Jehovah shalom. The rest inside of you. Glory to God. In the midst of it. I'm free. And at last, I'm free. Because I was once, glory to God, depressed and perplexed. I was once, glory to God, lost out there. I was once weary, glory to God. But I thank God today in the midst of what I'm going through. Today in the midst of trials and tribulation. Today in the midst of hard times. Today in the midst of coronavirus. Today in the midst of all that's going on that don't look good. I am free. And who the sun set free is free indeed. I was made free and still being made free. Glory to God. Because whenever you hear the word made, that means glory to God. There is a process. And each time a child comes my way, God making me more free. Hallelujah. I didn't know I was so free until that trial came in my life this week. Glory to God. Going to the hospital, seeing my granddaughter. I didn't know I was so free with Christ, because I still had a spirit of praise. I still had a spirit of worship. That devil didn't keep me hell bound. He didn't keep me sad bound or depressed bound or regressed bound. Hallelujah. The more I thought about what was going on, the more I stopped praising God, because I know when blessings go up, when praises go up, blessings come down. I know I'm in a season of miracles. I know I'm in the second half of my year. The God doing a breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Can I got a witness in here? Hallelujah. On Facebook, conference call line. Can you say today, I'm free, Pastor Brooks. I've been a slave to Christ. I am free indeed. I'm free to praise him. I'm free to worship him. I'm free to serve him. I'm free to sleep at night. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I don't have to go to no rehab center because my Christ has made me free. Glory. I thank the Lord. Glory to God. Are you free overseas? Are you free overseas? Speak of you free. Okay, praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Let the redeemer of the Lord say so. The redeemer of those who are free, who Christ has made free. And you ought to say so. You ought to tell the devil I'm free, and I'm free at last. You had me back down. You had me down depressed. You had me back in the corner. You had me trapped with my own emotions. But I'm free today, and I'm free at last. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I thank God for being free. I thank God, but I didn't come become free on my own. It was the truth that made me free. Glory to God. It was the truth that made me free. Hallelujah. And here in this passage, glory to God, Jesus himself is the truth that makes us free. He's the source of truth. Oh, glory to God. He perfects standards of what is right. He frees us from the consequences of sin. He frees us from self-deception, glory to God. He frees us from deception from Satan, glory to God. Hallelujah, glory to God. He shows us clearly the way to everlasting life with God. Jesus does not give us freedom to do what we want to do, but freedom to follow him without being ashamed, glory to God. I'm not a closet Christian. Everywhere I go, hallelujah, I minister Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, but it is the power of God that leads us to salvation. I'm not ashamed to tell somebody I was once lost, but now I'm found. 
I was once a fornicator, but God came and straightened me out. I was once going to a liar in the name of Jesus. I'm not ashamed to tell. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I was a mother out of wind locker, but I'm not ashamed of it. I am free, and everywhere I go, I tell my story so God can get the glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Don't be ashamed. Freedom makes you speak boldly on God's behalf. Freedom makes you glory to God. Accept your difference. I know I'm different than other Christians. I know glory to God. I don't do things that other churches do. I know I'm different even among my believers in Christ. Glory to God. But I'm not ashamed of my difference. I don't have go-go stuff up in our poor pit. I don't have any kind of stuff. I don't allow Satan to set up his synagogue in the house of God. Now, in fact, I don't do all things. It may not be sin, but it's not beneficial to me. Glory to God. Because I want to make sure that when the rapture, when the archangel blow his trumpet, my spirit will be in tune with God's spirit. And I can hear the trumpet blow. And I will be caught up in the rapture in the name of Jesus. Can I get a witness in here? I'm free to be different. I'm free to proclaim prophetic Jesus Christ as my Savior. I'm free to boldly, hallelujah, walk in authority. Walk up. I'm free. Y'all hear me? I'm so free. And you don't know how free you are till trouble come. You don't know how free you are till hardship come. You don't know how free you are till an enemy come and betray you. You don't know how free you are till somebody talk and lie about you in the name of Jesus, glory to God. You don't know how free you are until you're able to love those that mistreat you. You don't know how free you are until you're able to forgive those who are unforgivable. You don't know how free you are until you lose a loved one, but yet you know you still got your mind and you got your joy and you got your peace. You don't know how free you are until tribulations come. And that's why in Romans chapter 5, chapter verse 3, he said, Rejoice in tribulation, because tribulation produces a glory to God, perseverance, and per perseverance produces character, and character produces hope. I don't know about you, but I thank God I'm absolutely free. Hallelujah. I don't have to impress nobody to like me. Hallelujah. I don't have to go along to get along. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We thank God. We bless God. Hallelujah. Because you got to know sin has a way of enslaving us. It has a way to control us. It has a way to dominate us. It has a way to dictate our action. You think you big and bad enough to do what you want to do. But I let you know, I want to let you know, you just a slave to sin. If you had not surrendered your life to God, you just a slave to sin. Sin is your master. Sin controls you. Sin masculine. I'm, I'm going to manipulate you. Sin dictate to you. You're not all that big and bad free if you don't know Christ because you just a slave to um, unrighteousness. You are slave to Satan himself. But there is hope, glory to God in the name of Jesus because Jesus came to set us free. And the only way that we could be set free, glory to God, Jesus came, glory to God, to free us from slavery that keeps us becoming the person that God created us to be and keeps us from enjoying life, glory to God. Jesus could break the power of a sin, and you will know, glory to God, and, and he does this, glory to God, by uh, allowing us to abide in his word. So let's go back to the word. He said, then Jesus said to those Jews who believed him, if you abide in my word, you are my disciples indeed, and you should know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. And what he's saying, glory to God here, glory to God. This is done to be free is done by abiding in God's word and let the word abide in you. I can understand why you're not free. I can understand why you, 
when everything, when things come up, you get depressed and you get all down. I can understand why you walk around with stress and anxiety. I can understand why you cussing and fussing for no reason at all because you are not abiding in the word of God. The word abide means to dwell. It means to remain. It means to stay there. It doesn't mean to just open up your Bible, your phone app on Sunday, and you don't open up no more until the next Sunday. It means that you open up Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. It means that you eat and feast off the word of God three times a day like you do your natural meals in the name of Jesus. It means that you get lost in the word and the word get lost in your heart in the name of Jesus. And that's the only way you can get free because you got to get free. Go, glory to God. He said, if you abide in my word, and my word abide in you. That means if you stay in my word, if you dwell in my word, if you allow my word to take residence in your heart, hallelujah, just don't let it just visit you every now and then. Don't let the enemy choke it out of you, but let it get rooted in your heart. Glory to God. We've been on your stay at home, glory to God, for almost four months now. And some of you have not even, your devotional time has not even increased in the word of God. Shame on you, glory to God. No wonder you you perplexed. No wonder you distressed. No wonder you, glory to God, you depressed in the name of Jesus. You get to abide in the word of God, glory to God. And then... Lord God, then you will be his disciple. You will be his learner, his teachable one that will follow after him in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. And glory to God. And then you will know the truth. And this word, no, glory to God, is not just a no, a belief system in your head. You will know the truth. That means no is that you're going to become intimate with the word of God. And as you become intimate with the word of God, you become intimate with the truth. And, and the truth is Jesus Christ. I just want to let you know. He is the truth in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. John 1, 1 said, glory to God. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. In the beginning, he was right there, and he made all things glory to God. Hallelujah. Jesus is the truth. You think, act like I don't know. Glory to God. Let me give you another scripture. In John 14, 6, he said, I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. No man can come to the Father except by me. Glory to God. Jesus is the truth. You get you, you got to get into his word. When you get into his word and let the word, then you abide in his word. Dwell there. Stay there. Take residence in there in the name of Jesus. And then it's going to take residence inside of you. And it's going to stay there. So when that trial comes, when the tricks of the enemy come, when all his lies come and say that everything will be destroyed, say that it's going to fail, say that it's not going to try like that. Oh, glory to God. And then the truth that dwells inside of you is going to rise up and overshadow what the devil has said to you, which was a bunch of lies in the name of Jesus. The truth is going to make you free. And people who get to see, you know why you get to see? Because you stop dwelling in the word of God. You know why you get all depressed? You know why you have a low period in your life? Because you stop abiding in the word of God. You know why you are weary? You know why you are burnt out? Because you stop dwelling in the word of God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Don't get back yoked up in that bondage again. Stay in the word of God. It's the same thing I see many Christians that had got back into a yoke of bondage. How they get back there, Pastor Brooks? They got back there because they stopped abiding in the word of God. They stopped coming to Bible study. They stopped coming to fellowships. They stopped reading the word of God like they used to. Glory to God. And they found this stuff and don't even realize they drifted back off into that yoke of bondage in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. But you get to stay to the word of God because the word is... There's power in the word. There's power in the word. The word is full. The word is powerful. It is powerful. It's power in it going to God. And it trans, it transforms lives. It changes. I know you like singing. I know you like good choir. I know you want to go to church and have a good dynamite choir. 
good dynamite musicians, but music don't change you. Music don't change you. Singer don't change you. Programs in the church don't change you. Activities in the church don't change you. The only thing that will change you is not just a good feeling word and not just a bless me word, but it's a word that will convict your spirit. A word of all oh, that. Hear what I'm saying? The word of God is powerful in the name of Jesus. Saint is a liar, and the devil greatest battlefield is between your ears, and that's your mind, which is the doorway to your heart. And that's why, glory to God, you have to guard your mind, you got to guard your heart. When the devil wants to contaminate your heart and get into your spirit, he begins to pollute your mind with all kinds of deceptions and lies in the name of Jesus, glory to God. But the question is to you today, are you living freedom today? Think about it. How will you feel you never had to worry about money? God wants to set you free. How will you feel if you never had to be concerned about sickness and disease and illnesses? God wants to set you free. How will you feel, glory to God, if you never have to worry about fear or losing a loved one? God wants to set you free. Hallelujah, glory to God. God wants to be free and give an awesome plan for us to be free at last, last in every era of our life. But glory to God, I want to give you three glory to God principles that you should know about you. Three principles that you should know about truth. Number one, glory to God, truth don't condemn, it convicts. Truth don't condemn, it convicts. See, the truth makes us free. And this truth that we're talking about, glory to God, is the truth, glory to God, in Jesus Christ. He is the truth. He don't condemn, uh, glory. He convicts us by the power of the Holy Spirit, glory to God. See, when the enemy comes with condemning thoughts and he tells us that God hates us or he tells us that God mad or angry with us because of our past mistakes, glory to God, we need to clear the truth with the word of God, which states in Romans 8, 1, there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ. So glory to God, however many believers, glory to God, we still struggle with guilt. We still struggle with condemnation. Hallelujah. We still struggle with our past mistakes and, and we shun glory to God from people or we shun to give our testimonies in the name of Jesus. Guilt is an, unvi is an invisible burden that wears us out and it does no good for us at all. Hallelujah. It eats at us and it turns us up. Guilt from not being the mother that you should have been, not being the father that you should have been. Guilt from destroying your home. Glory to God. Guilt from making decisions that destroy some things in your life. Glory, all that guilt, glory to God. But you got to let it go. Let it go. How do I let it go, Pastor Brooks? You, by confessing your sin and repent, glory to God. Stop feeling guilty about how you brought up your children. Stop feeling guilty about, glory to God, that you raised uh, glory, your children up without a daddy, glory to God. Stop feeling guilty about the daddy that you don't know who it is or the mama, glory to God, that you choose for your children. Oh, no more guilt, glory. No more guilt about the mistakes you made in your life. No more guilt about the abortions that you had. No more guilt about, glory to God, not making a home, a better home for your children. No more guilt about, glory to God, making the best life, glory to God, for you in the name of Jesus, glory to God. Oh, let it go. Let it go. Confess it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And repent. Don't let nobody put no more guilt on you. Don't let them bring up your past and make you feel bad. You got to tell them that was the old me. That was then. This is now. So when I was a crackhead, I was an alcoholic. I was a whoremonger. A woman lied to glory to God. I was a liar and a cheater. Glory to God. I was a thief. I had jealousy, I was envy, I had insecurity, but that was me then in the name of Jesus. No more guilt in my heart in the name of Jesus. I'm not going to say, what if I should have done this or done that in the name of Jesus, glory to God. It's time to stop enjoying the freedom from guilt and condemnation and admit it and move on. Move on, my brothers and sisters, in the name of Jesus. Do not believe your feelings no more. Glory to God. Believe more in the word of God. And God said, I made you free. I set you free. No more rehab. 
If God deliver you, you will need to go to no rehab in the name of Jesus. Because when God deliver you, it act like it seems like that you have never participated in that conduct. Because man, you are a new creature in Christ. Old things have passed away. And behold, he has made all things new in your life. So whenever the glory to God, the enemy comes and bring them lies to you. You better go into the word because there's power in the word. You are a new person. You got to tell him, I'm free, and I am free at last. I am free indeed in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. So no more condemnation because the truth do not condemn. It convicts. It convicts you of your sins so you can repent, confess it, and move forward in the name of Jesus. It changes your life. Hallelujah. But not only that, the truth don't compromise. The truth does not compromise, glory to God, but it convinces. It don't compromise. We should not be surprised when temptations comes. Satan deliberately tried to tempt Jesus in, in Matthew chapter 4, glory to God. And he tries to tempt us deliberately. Every time Jesus was tempted, he did not compromise what he believed in. He did not compromise, glory to God. His glory to God, faithfulness and commitment and dedication to the God. He responded with the word of God. Oh, he said, it is written. Glory to God. Don't compromise your loyalty. Don't compromise your commitment. Don't compromise your dedication. Glory to God. When that devil come, glory to God, with temptations. And he come with temptation that he know what you used to do and what you used to like. He comes through temptations in relationships. He comes through temptations, glory to God, in our personal lives, glory to God. What God has delivered us once from, he will bring that thing back up. But, but glory to God, but he bring it up to tempt us. But God bring it up, allow it to come up to test us in the name of Jesus, glory to God. And I love it, glory to God, in Daniel chapter 3. And Daniel chapter 3 tells us about three Hebrew boys Shatrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who refused to be frightened or intimidated, glory to God. Hallelujah. When they were threatened, if they don't serve and bow down to the king, they will be thrown in a fire, glory to God. And the fire will be turned up seven times hotter in the name of Jesus. They told the king, look at here, I'm just paraphrasing. He said, we believe God is going to deliver us, but even God does not deliver me. Glory to God, we are not going to compromise and we're not going to be conformed to your image or what you think that we ought to be in the name of Jesus. I'm not going to compromise and I'm not going to conform to the image of the world and what the world think I ought to do, what the world think I ought to be in the name of Jesus. We are going to do what God is telling us to do. And you, Glory to God, you can do what you want to do to me. Put me in the furnace. How, how glory to God, raise the temperature up high in the name of Jesus, glory to God. But I will not compromise my faith in the name of Jesus. I will not go against the God that I serve in the name of Jesus, whether it's in the workplace, whether it's in the home, whether it's in the church, no matter where I'm at, glory to God. But whatever happened to us, we have peace about it. If you want to turn my fire up in my in my life, because I won't compromise my faith and my belief system of who God is in my life. Glory to God. I got peace about it because we are free from compromising. This is the attitude we ought to have towards unexpected, unannounced, unannounced and interrupted situations that come up in our lives. Glory to God. This is the attitude we ought to have to those who try to pressure us into compromising what we know to be. Glory to God. What we know to do right what is right in the eyesight of God, just as God was with these three men in the furnace affliction, glory to God, so he will be with us in whatever struggle situation that we have in life. The truth is knowing that God is with you, and you got to know that without a shadow of a doubt, that I know, that I know, that I know that God is with me. He will never leave me. He will never forsake me. Glory to God. Although I go through the waters, he's with me. Although I go through the flood, he's with me. Although I go through the fire, he's with me. His truth has been proven in my life over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. God has never failed me, my brothers and sisters. No matter how hot my trials were, no matter how painful it was, 
because no matter how difficult it may seem, God has never left me. And because of that, I won't compromise what I believe in God. I won't deny him in the name of Jesus. I won't declare that he can't do it because he is able to do it. Even if he don't do it for me, I still know he's able because he's the God of my salvation. He's my rock. Glory to God. And the truth is knowing that God is with me. He has set me free from worry. He set me free from stress. He set me free from depression. He set me free from oppression. He set me free from the fear of the unknown in the name of Jesus. I don't know what God has in store for us in the second half of the year, but I know I'm not afraid. I know God is with me. I know God has proved God, hallelujah, and proved himself in the first part of my life over sin, and I'm now proving himself to be faithful in my job of 36 years, hallelujah, but all kinds of spirit was coming up against me when they told me, I remember my first supervisor said, I'm going to always be a clerk typist for the rest of my life, but God has always proven himself faithful to me in the sickness of my body, he proved himself faithful to me in the lack of income, he proved himself faithful to me when unexpected trials came up in my children's life, he brought them out and proved himself faithful to me, even with my grandchildren, and they're going through some trials and tribulation, even as little people, but God is still God, I will not compromise, if God got to turn the heat up, he's still my God, I still got my joy, I still got my peace, I still got my faith in the name of Jesus, can I get a witness, can you honestly say, the pastor book, if he turn the heat up in my life, I'm not going to compromise. I'm not going to say that God is no God. I'm not going to say that God can't do it. I'm not going to say that God won't do it. Because I believe, oh, hallelujah. Does he have a good track back with you? If he does, say so, Facebook. Say so, conference call line. God got a good track back with me. I start all good to God. Hallelujah. I ain't looking bad. But I tell you, don't you dare end. God never ends when things look bad. If things look bad right now, that's not the end of your story. God always ends with glory in the name of Jesus. I'm so glad that what looks bad right, right now is not the end. Because God don't end like that. God ends with glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. You got to stay and know that he's God. And I know glory to God. I won't compromise. And another reason I won't compromise, because, hallelujah, hallelujah, because I am so convinced, as Romans 8 tells me, if God is for you, who or what can be against you? If God is for you, who or what can be against you? In the name of Jesus, glory to God. Hallelujah, glory to God. And then he goes on to say, he who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us. Glory to God. How will he not give you all things? If he didn't spare his own son for us, how will he not heal you? If he didn't spare his own son for us, how he not give you a miracle and a breakthrough? If he didn't spare his own son for us, how can he not come in and fix your home and fix your marriage and, and deliver your children and heal your grandchildren and deliver them? Hallelujah. Glory to God. And then I love it in Romans 8, 38. For I am convinced. I'm convinced. Hallelujah. See, the true glory to God. Do not compromise. It convinces you. And it did in my life. After all I went through over sin. Oh, everything. It convinced me. I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither present nor the future, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate me from the love of God. I'm free because God loves me and I love him. I'm free because the true has made me free. And the truth is the word of God. And the word of God is Jesus who dwell among us. In the name of Jesus, he dwells inside of me. Hallelujah. 
Glory to God. So what's three principles of truth? Glory to God. Number one, truth don't condemn. It only convicts. If you got condemnation, it's not the truth. It's a lie from the pits of hell. Shake that thing off. Admit it. Look, confront it. Say, that was me then, but this is me now, and I'm a new creature of Christ, and I am free and free indeed. And then the truth also, don't compromise. It convinces glory to God. No matter what temptation come up in my life, no matter what unexpected, I didn't ask trial to come up, I'm not going to compromise what I believe about my God. Even if he don't deliver me from this physical situation, I'm still know that if I live, I'm with Christ and I die, I'll be with Christ, but I will not compromise my faith that I, what I know, that I know, that I know, because he had pulled himself over and over. Look back over your life, my brothers and sisters. And see the trap that you was once in. And somehow, some way, even when you didn't realize God came and delivered you and set you free. Hallelujah, glory to God. No matter what, so no matter where you are today, this coronavirus, this unemployment, this stay at home, guidelines, even though we can't come back in the house of God, hallelujah, we are still free. Ask Paul in the prison. He wrote seven of the letters going to God. Hallelujah. In prison on the outside, but he was free on the inside. He said, no chains can stop the gospel of Jesus Christ. No chains that's holding me on the outside going to stop me from not declaring and decreeing and prophesying the goodness of God in the midst of my tears. Even though you have to cry sometimes, you still say God is good. Even though you may feel a little bit pain, but God is good. I will not serve you, Satan. I will not serve you. I won't bow down to you. I will not listen to your lies. Hallelujah. But last but not least, the truth do not change. A lie always changes. You ever quit somebody in a lie? And every time you go back to them, they change the story. Because a lie always change. But the truth never change. But what it does, it converts. Glory to God. The truth converts. Because you know why? Glory to God. Because God does not change. I love it in John 17, 17. And Jesus said, sanctify them in truth. Your word is true. Sanctify, glory to God. And that's how we are made free. The truth should make you free. Make is a process. It's like sanctification. Glory to God. We are sanctified each and every day. Glory to God. The more I read his word, the more I know about him, the more I experience tribulations, I become more freer in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Because God, word is sanctify us. It set us apart. Glory to God. As people of the living God, we don't respond the way the world responds with all this protesting, black lives live, all lives live, glory to God. The truth sanctifies you. It puts you, glory to God. It separates you from the world lies in the name of Jesus. I can walk in truth and I can stand up boldly in what I believe in and not be afraid. So the first thing to recognize when facing challenges is that God himself never changes you can always depend on God. People changes, career changes, places changes, friends changes, economic changes, things change, but God never changes. Jesus is the source of all of our peace. He's the source of our glory to God, of our security. He's the source, glory to God, of our confidence when we face in past, present, and future tribulations. This is the anchor for dealing with all changes because God is the one thing that we could count on that would never change on us. I love my husband. I love him dearly. But I can't count on him not changing on me. Hallelujah. Not quite sure he loved me dearly. In the same verse, he can't count on me that I'm, oh, you know how we women are when we get in our 68 age group. Oh, we kind of fickle sometimes. We kind of don't know what we want when we want it when it comes to domestic household things. But glory to God, but what, but what you can count on overseas, and what I can count on 
that God never changes. He never changes, glory to God. Because God doesn't change, we could be at peace when everything else around us changes. God, glory to God, he works in our changes to move us forward. When things are about to change, and that's what's happening right now with this COVID-19 and with this stay at home and this social distancing, but God is allowing us to move forward. Don't you get settled for where you are in the name of Jesus. God will move things, glory to God, forward even in the midst of what's going on today. Hallelujah, glory to God. He planned, God plans for us, never changes. His promises for our lives never changes. The truth only going to transform us. That's the only thing going to change, Lord, not God, as we waiting for God to do an awesome work in our lives. The truth is going to transform us. And once you embrace the truth, which is Jesus Christ, hallelujah, he's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Once you embrace it, you will begin to feel the change inside of you. I don't know about you, but even going to God after this weekend, I feel a change inside of me. Glory to God. After dealing with some things, glory to God. Hallelujah. In my family, glory to God. With my grandchildren, things are changing inside of me. I, I do have a new perspective. And another perspective that I just grew a little bit closer with God. When I found out my granddaughter was in the hospital, I thought we said we got to go. But glory to God, it was not an outside verbal expression. It was an inside. Glory to God, know that I had to show up. I had to show up, glory to God, because I know that God don't change. I know the God that lives inside of me. He's still God with authority, and he's still God with power. And I thank God just to show up with power over sin. I show up with authority. But you say, Pastor Brooks, somebody need to get this, because you're walking out with spiritual pride. Because you're walking out saying you got power. Okay, yes, you do. But just because you have power doesn't mean you have the authority. The authority is oozier. It's more greater than the dunamis. Because before you can operate in dunamis, you got to make sure you have the authority to operate in it. And I knew I had to go down there. Not because I had the power to lay hands. Not because I had the power to speak life in the word. But not only that. I had to go because I had the authority. I represent Jesus Christ. I'm an ambassador. I'm Jesus Christ. I don't mean on in sin. I don't tap into sin. I'm not a slave to sin. I have authority with Jesus Christ to use my dunamis power in the name of Jesus. And that's what you got to know, hallelujah, that you are a warrior on the behalf of God. He just didn't give you power, but he given those who have sold out their life for them, who are a good soldier in the army of the Lord. He has given you authority to stand up against any foul spirit. Stand up against every spirit of infirmity. Stand up against every spirit of lies. Stand up against every spirit that's not of God. I just did come in here with my power. I came in there with authority, walking, hallelujah, in the authority representing the God that I serve who never changes in the name of Jesus. And when he when he send you out, he don't send you backwards. He send you forward in the name of Jesus. You don't step back for no man. You don't step back for no demon. You don't step back for no sickness. You don't step back for no lie in the name. Can I get a witness in here? Oh, tell your neighbor, I just don't have power. The power alone going to defeat you. Ask the Lord to God. The seven sons of Sceva, they thought they had power to lay hands on an evil, wicked spirit. But the spirit said, I don't know you. I know Jesus. And I know Paul, but who are you? Because they walk in authority. Hallelujah. It's time to get up and walk in authority. Walk in truth. Walk in victory. 
Walk as a warrior and not as a warrior. Walk in strength and not in stress. In the name of Jesus, it is our season, church. It is our season. Let the weak today say that I'm strong. Let the poor today say that I'm rich. Let those that are sick say that I'm healed. Oh, I got it from that song now. Now I'm free. Now I'm delivered. Who the sun set free is free indeed. I'm free. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And glory to God. Let the freedom transform your life. You got to know that you have the anointing. And the anointing of the power of God lives inside of you. You have the anointed one that lives inside of you to give you the authority to take care of business in the name of Jesus. Now you have become strong and wiser in the name of Jesus. I don't know about you, but I'm so excited. I thank God. You just don't know how free I am. I'm free. And when you can think about that, when you can just think about how when things used to come up in your life and how you were so out and down, you were so depressed, you didn't know which way to go. But now, I'm free. Now, I'm here. Now, I'm delivered. There's anybody today who I'm talking to, then now you want to know what it feels like to be free, what it feels like not to be worried and stressed all the time, what it feels like not to worry about not having enough money to pay my bills, what it feels like good to God. No worrying about what's in my body, what's going on in my body. What it feel like going to not worrying about whether my mouth will survive or not. What what I wanna know what it feels like going to God, but I wanna let you know it can happen. Abide in the word of God. Let the word abide in you, get lost in God's word. Because when you get lost in God's word, you have a relationship with him and you are in time with him and the truth, which is Jesus Christ, he will make you free today. Thank God for the truth that made you free. And I'm going to ask those going to God that are still carrying burdens, that are still in a trap, you're trapped in an unhealthy relationship, you're trapped in a sinful habit or addiction, you're trapped with evil thoughts, you're trapped with mental emotion disturbance in your mind, you're trapped and you don't know how to get out. I want to let you know today. Hallelujah, call on Jesus. Release that burden to him. You trap with guilt from your past as a teenager or as an adult, you trap. But release that thing right now and confess it. Admit that God want to be free, God. I want the freedom to enjoy you, God. Not the freedom for you to make a change on the outside. I want the freedom in the inside, God. Free me up, Lord God, that I can laugh. Free me up, Lord God, that I could have some human in my life, even just you and I, Lord God. Free me up from that wicked person I'm living with today, Lord God, that I won't let them disturb and disrupt my spirit. Free me, God, from what I feel in my body. Free me from my concerns for my children, my grandkids. It's one thing to have concerns, but it's another thing to be stressed and worried about it. God, free me no matter what I see, God. I know, God. That you don't condemn. I know the truth. Don't compromise. And I know the truth does not change. God, you're the same today as you was yesterday. You have a good track record with us. Go with me to the word of prayer. Father God, we thank you. We bless you. We praise you. We give you all glory and honor, oh God, for your glory, God. God, by yourself, oh God. We thank you for your truth. We thank you for your word, oh God. If it had not been for your word, oh God, we wouldn't be standing here free. We wouldn't be standing here with joy in our hearts, oh God, in the midst of the trouble that we are surrounded with. We thank you, oh God, for the peace, oh God, the all oh glory to God, the peace that, glory to God, that you have given us unto us, oh God. We thank you, oh God, that you are God that does not lie, 
We thank you, Lord God, that your truth has made us free, Lord God. We can serve you. We can still praise you, Lord God. We won't compromise what we believe in you, Lord God. Forgive us for our sin. Forgive us for the lies that we have taken on from the enemy to think that we're not going to survive, to think that we're not going to make it, Lord God. But we thank you, Lord God, that we are going to survive because you are with us. You will never leave us, Lord God. Do it all, Lord God, you've been with us. Do it all, Lord God, you have never failed us. Do it all, Lord God, you have always delivered us, Lord God. Deliver us from the sinful habit. Deliver us from the attitudes, Lord God. Deliver us from our doubts and our fears, Lord God. Deliver us from being impatient. Deliver us from being frustrated, Lord God. Deliver us from our own, our own selfishness and thinking that it's all about us, Lord God. Father, there's somebody out there, glory to God. And stop abiding in your word, Lord God, since we've been staying at home, Lord God. Father God, bring your people back to your word, Lord God. They've been distracted by the things in their homes, Lord God. They can't even sit still for an hour and give you full attention during this time. They going, they doing, they have, they have the word on, but they doing other things, Lord God. Oh, Father God, let them be still so they can sit at your feet for one hour, Lord God, and listen to your word without any disruption, Lord God, any disturbance in the name of Jesus, Father God, because they have no idea that Satan will come and knock at that door. And when Satan come, they got to make sure they had on the belt of truth. They got to be fastened with the belt of truth in the name of Jesus. Some of them have unfastened their belts, oh God. But Father God, tighten their belts of truth up in the name of Jesus. And we be sure to give you the glory and the honor. Father God, bless this world. Father God, this is Independence Weekend. But Father God, our dependence and our reliance is on you and you alone, Lord God. We depend on you every single day, Lord God. And we are free, and we are free in you, Lord God, because who the sun set free is free indeed. We are absolute free. Hallelujah, glory to God. And I thank you and I bless you. Bless your people. Bless the workers in the healthcare field, Lord God. Oh, bless those who have to go out every day, Lord God. Oh, Father God, bless the needs of your people. Supply their needs according to the riches of your glory, Lord God. Father God, bless somebody's mind. Somebody's about to give up. Somebody's about to lose it, Lord God. The things have been coming to them in every direction. But let them know, Lord God, hallelujah, that you are building them up for a mighty miracle. You are getting them ready for a mighty breakthrough. The harder the troubles are, the greater the miracles are, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Keep your people, Lord God. Lift them up in your righteous right hand, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. And we be sure to give you the glory, give you the honor, bless the families, Lord God, Bless those who sick in their body. We declare, we decree, we prophesy that you sent your word and your word healed them in the name of Jesus. We come up against every spirit of infirmity in the name of Jesus. We thank you for the, the real heart of God. Blow life, Lord God. Blow new breath in your people. Blow out everything that's not of you in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Renew their minds, Lord God. Draw them closer back to you, Lord God. Let them not go back into that yoke of bondage in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Shake it, shake them up, Lord God. Stir them back up. Stir their gifts back up. It has set them and rested at the bottom because they got too relaxed not coming in the house of God, Lord God. God, I just feel the God. I feel it, Lord God. I feel your people got too relaxed, Lord God. But stir it up, Lord God. If you got to use whatever you got to use, stir it up, Lord God. Because you're coming back soon, Lord God. Coming back for a church without a spot or wrinkle, Lord God. And we thank you, Lord God. We live in freedom. There's power of your truth. And I give you the glory and the honor. In Jesus Christ, I pray. Come on, give God a praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Glory to God. If there's anyone out there that's still a slave to sin, if you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your Savior, I want to challenge you today. They said, Jesus, here I am. I no longer want to be a slave to sin, but I want to be a slave of righteousness. I want to be a slave to God. I want to be free now. Although things may not change on the outside, but God, free me from the inside, from my depressed state. Free me from my anger. Free me from my rage. Free me from my guilt. Free me from condemnation. Free me, God. And God said, if you accept him as your Savior and believe that Jesus Christ died for you, glory God, for all your sins, 
that he rose again, glory to God, so you may have everlasting life, then you can start your free process right now. Who the truth sets you free is free indeed. Get into your word in Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. But it's the first Sunday, glory to God. It's the first Sunday. You know what we do on the first Sunday. Hallelujah, glory to God. We have our Holy Communion. Come on, grab your Holy Communion, glory to God. Grab your fruit of the vine, which is your juice. Grab the bread, glory to God, which is your crack or a piece of bread, whatever you see fit. Glory to God, fitting for this occasion. Grab it right now in the name of Jesus, glory to God. Hallelujah. And here we are, glory to God. We thank God for this appointed time. We thank God, excuse me, that he allows us to still be partakers of this Holy Communion. Glory to God, the bread symbolizes Christ as the bread of life, hallelujah, and the cup of the fruit of the vine symbolizes the work of Christ, glory to God, it symbolizes his blood, what he did on Calvary, he shed his blood in remission for our sins, glory to God, so come on, grab your, hallelujah, grab your bread in the name of Jesus, glory to God, grab your bread in the name of Jesus, thank you, hallelujah, thank you, Lord God, we thank God, we bless him, why the in John chapter 14, while they was in the disciple of the upper room, glory to God, in Jerusalem, the night of Jesus' crucifixion, glory to God. Jesus was telling them about the things that would take place, glory to God. He was telling them about his death, his burial, his resurrection in the name of Jesus. And I truly believe, glory to God, Jesus is sharing with us the things that are going to take place, glory to God. You got to know he's coming back. If I could leave you, he's coming back, my brothers and sisters. Get your life in order. Get your home in order. He's coming back soon. Can't you see around you? Glory to God. But let's take our glory to God. And he took the bread. Anybody have the bread? The cracker, the substance? Glory to God. And he said, take eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. Do this and be members of me. So he took the bread. He blessed it. He broke it. And he gave thanks to the Father. Let us eat. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Then he took the cup. Am I have the cup of the fruit of the vine? Glory to God, which is your juice. He took the cup. Glory to God. He said, this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shared, glory to God, for many for the remissions of their sins. As often as you do this again, do this in remembrance of me. Let us drink. Thank God that he allowed us to still be partakers of his Holy Communion. We have the life of Christ inside of us. And because of that, we are free. Just a couple of announcements in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Tomorrow, glory to God, we start our quarterly fast. From July the 6th to July the 26th. We do have a calendar of this fast of all our scriptures. And it's on Facebook, glory to God. It's on Facebook. A calendar of our fast with all the scriptures on. It's on Facebook under TRL Ministry. It's on our Facebook page. Come on, join us in the name of Jesus. And our theme is that this month we fighting for the family. Fighting for the family. In the name of Jesus. Because if we can fight for the family, we get our community right, we get the churches right, glory to God, we get the school right. So somebody, not to fight with them, but fight for them in the name of Jesus. That's what we fasting. We're going to fight for our family. No longer this month, guard your tongue. Don't argue back and forth. Don't be cussing, fussing. Glory, don't be dictating. Leave it alone. Fight not with them, but fight for them. In the name of Jesus, join Overseer and I starting tomorrow on our 21-day fast. Be on one accord with us. We're not eating no red meats, no sweets, and the beverage is only water. Anything else you do is between you and God. This fast, glory to God, also, it has to involve reading your word, your scripture, and praying. Without that, you are just dying to you. are not fasting. Amen. Praise God. Also, join me Wednesday night, our Bible study, 730 Facebook Live. This month, we're going to still be on Facebook. We're not going back in that building yet. Glory to God. So we're in our new, we're in the same series, Family Matters, part two. You don't want to miss this. This month, we're talking about love and relationship with family members. Glory to God. And also, glory to God, Friday Night Live, 715 this Friday. 
this Friday coming up, meet me on Friday Night Live with the book of your favorite scripture from the book of Philippians, the book of Philippians, this Friday night, glory to God. Hallelujah, glory to God. So I just thank God, I bless him. Thank you for continuing to be a cheerful giver. We are in our summer months, and just like I mentioned to you before last week, week before that, our numbers, our increase have really dropped from our tithes and offering. I'm praying that you're using God money for God kingdom first. Please continue to give your tithes and offering. We had some challenges in our building this last month that we go to God. We need extra money to get it fixed. Glory to God. Please be a blessing and be a cheerful giver. Realize you're not giving it to Overseer and I. You're not giving it to TIR ministry, but you're giving it unto God. And you cannot be out give God in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Also, we are on YouTube. Thank you, Jesus. Thank God for Mr. Uh, Vinia Stewart that got us on YouTube. And also, we are on Instagram. Instagram posts our messages. Glory to God. So we are spreading the gospel any way that we can in the name of Jesus. But I love you all. Thank God for all your prayers. Glory to God for me and my family. Uh, glory to God for this week. My granddaughter was hospitalized, but she's home. To God be the glory in the name of Jesus. God does not change. Now, thank God. Hallelujah. Be wise. Be smart, y'all. Use wisdom. Be encouraged. And be blessed in the name of Jesus. Because it's not over yet. God still is working out a miracle. I love you all. I miss y'all so much. I do. But I know soon and very soon, if the rapture don't come back before we gather together, we will see each other. Have a blessed and wonderful day. Enjoy your freedom in Christ. Love you all. God bless.